Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about how to coach your man. The topic for this video is give him space. That tip is also super important. You remember that in a previous video, maybe I talked about repeating your message. But there is a tip behind that or an idea behind that which is very important is don't repeat your message too often. You know, very often you are going to deliver a piece of information to your partner that he needs to process. For instance, I am not too satisfied with our sex life. I need some change. I need to, something to evolve. So when you say something that is deep and profound, that requires him to tune in, give him space to tune in. If you give him that message on Monday and Tuesday, you are repeating it already. And then on Thursday, you are putting him under pressure. And by Wednesday, you are, you know, Friday, you are having a fight over it. It's too much. It means that you are in processing mode all the time. So ideally, you give him that message on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. You wait for a week before you repeat the message or you do a check-in with him. Okay? It's not about repeating it frequently. It's not about repeating it every day or multiple times a day. It's about giving him space to integrate the information, let that reflect in his own system so that he doesn't feel cornered and pushed and forced into taking action. And this is massively important, you know. If you have somebody coming to you and kind of pushing you and demanding and you receive 20 messages a day about that topic, what's going to be your reaction? You will feel cornered, you will feel aggressed, you will feel resentful. Whereas if somebody says, you know what, there is this report or there is this thing that we need to complete or this design that needs to be done by next Monday and then they see that one week earlier and then they come back you know, a few days later with the same message, hey, how is it going? You know, in a gentle way, how is it going with that project? Are you working on it? Then it gives you space to digest the information. But if the pressure is too high, most of the times it's going to make you retract, contract, and not respond in a very proactive way. So give him space. This is very, very important. If you bring up a topic which is challenging for him, you have to give him space to digest the information and not bring it up again at least for a few days. Okay? Unless it is positive feedback. If you say, you know, I noticed that the other day I shared this and I can see a radical shift in your attitude around that, like you're really helping me with the kids right now, and I like that, so that's positive feedback. That you can share any time. But if it's more challenging feedback along the same line of what you already shared about a request or a demand or something you're not happy about, just give it at least a few days, ideally a week, before you bring it up again. Okay? I hope that makes sense to you. I'll see you soon in another video.